Hello everybody, uh, my name is David Dunbar. Um, sure many of you, or some of you, have um, played the original uh, House and the House 2, uh, yes, the game online. Well, today uh, I want to tell you the story about the school, the sequel to The House 2. If you haven't played uh, The House 2, uh, I'm going to look up the uh, Legend again, or I'll just give you an idea. That's probably better, because I played uh, both. Basically, Legend has it in the House 2. This uh, family uh, gave birth to uh, a daughter years ago. And um, they uh, killed her or something. And then they had another daughter, which they uh, adopted. And I'm not really sure what happened to her, but you basically go into the house and investigate it, and you have to find out the year that um, the older daughter was uh, born. Well, I'm going to tell you the story about um, these two teenage guys they find this old abandoned school and they go into it um, around this uh, time. So here goes. A few years ago, two 18 year olds decided to go on a camping trip to spend some time alone with each other just to hang out, have some fun. So they uh, packed their bags, and uh, they looked for the best place to uh, camp out for the weekend. Well, they find a uh, old abandoned school in the middle of nowhere, and they wonder if they can go in there, and there's no one around, and they find the school's been boarded up. Well, they knocked, and all of a sudden, all the uh, wood planks fell off. They were confused, but they were surprised that the door was not locked, but unlocked. They slowly went in, and found a uh, all kinds of different classrooms in this hallway. They came in to uh, the first room, which I believe was the English room. The last room they had to check was the office. This is something I would like to make into a game one day if I could. But they started looking around the classroom, picking up different items. After about five minutes, suddenly the lights flickered. It was very strange. But they kept looking around because they found a paper finally that says, or that said, I love to be, to be here. But no longer do I exist. I am your worst nightmare. When they found it again, it had blood all over it. But no one had blood in there. It was very confusing. The one brother asked the other, Did you bleed on this? No. Replied the other. But they kept right on searching. They found another paper. I am best friends with the science teacher right next door. She is strange, but funny. Very confusing. But very different. When they picked up the original paper again, this time they heard a loud 
and right behind him there was a vision of the English teacher. But then he vanished. The lights flickered and then went off. The boys pulled out their flashlights and started looking around for something. They kept playing to flat the light until suddenly the English teacher came back. They were, they played the door. They went to open the doorknob and discovered that it was unlocked. When it's when they came in, they didn't know if it had been locked while they were in there or not. We decided to go check out the science teacher's room. This room was scary already because of what they saw in the first room. In the second room, the science teacher had laid out for them to pick up a Bible. Um, and she also had a science book, of course. And she had um, a piece of jewelry that she loved. A piece of paper told them to pick up these few things many times. And they did. About ten times later, lights flickered and went off. There were windows, and every time the light, there was a, suddenly a storm that came up. And every time um, there was lightning, they swore they could see the image of a dead body hanging from the ceiling. But then it went back to pitch black darkness. When they picked up the stuff enough, when the lights did come back on, there was a body hanging. And before the boys knew it, when they picked up the uh, piece of jewelry again, it cracked. Then they picked up the Bible again, and then what really did the men was when they picked up the science book one more time, then the teacher showed up out of nowhere and lunged at them. The boys were so frightened, but when they opened their eyes, she was gone. They tried to unlock the door, but it wouldn't unlock. They played the light switch, and there she was right in front of them, ready to grab them, and then she disappeared. This time they tried it again, and it was unlocked. This was getting too far out of hand. There was a piece of paper outside on the door that said, um, go to the bathroom. Suddenly, eerie music began to play in the school, but they weren't sure where it was coming from, because suddenly the lights went out all over the school, so they brought their flat, turned on their flashlights. They weren't sure what to do. But they went to the bathroom. They weren't sure if they were going to run into Bloody Mary or what. Well, in the restroom, or bathroom, they didn't find much. So, you'll find out what happens in the restroom after the commercial break. Welcome back. And, now let's go on to the uh, bathroom, or restroom. So, in the restroom, it was pitch black, but they were able to turn on their flashlights. In there was a toilet and a stall. Do they dare look in the stall, thinking that some horrific creature would be in there? 
they weren't sure. They quickly got ready next to the stall door, put their hands on the door together, closed their eyes, got their strength ready and courage for a creature that might jump out and kill them. They started wondering, why did they even come into the school in the first place? It was haunted. They, they had never heard of anything after that, or, or, at all, about it until now. Because they were inside this haunted school that they had never heard of before. They started wondering what would be behind the stall. Could it be the uh, weird creature from um, Panorama Activity? Could it be the creature that lives in your attic? Could it even be a creature you've never even seen before? It could even be Ghost Face from Scream, waiting with a knife. Well, you can bet that when they finally flung the door open, there was nothing. But they did find a paper with a note on it that said, this said three different things they had to do. Flush the toilet um, in here at least 20 times. before you come back for the 21st time for a surprise. 20, the second thing they had to do was turn on the sink 20 times. And third thing, try flipping on and off the light switch 20 times. Well, they did it. Well, by the time they'd done all things 20 times, suddenly there was a loud bang upstairs and blood started oozing from the toilet inside the stall down past the uh, stall to the sink. It was a very tiny restroom. That's when they heard the creepiest, the scariest witch cackle in the restroom. It sent chills down their back and caused goosebumps. It was terrifying. Now did they dare open the restroom stall? Well, you can bet they immediately flew to the um, restroom door and tried to open it. But of course it wouldn't open, it wouldn't budge, it was stuck sh shut, and um, it was um, bolted, and it was locked. Great, so now what they, what they do? Well, they had no choice but to go to the stall door and flung it, fling it open. And they did. And there was the creepiest banshee they had ever seen in their life. So they sl slammed the door. When they opened it again, this time it was Ghostface waiting with his knife to assassinate them. And they slammed it, opened it again. Now, it was a really weird creature from Dark Skies. Very recent movie that just came out. Slammed it. Opened it again. It was... It did, the creature just seemed to keep changing. It's like it didn't want to make up its mind. 
the boys found a note posted to the door. The only way to escape out of this restroom is to touch the creature. Well, this time it looks so terrifying. I didn't want to get close. But one of them got up to it and touched it. It let out the loudest scream possible that went off for 30 seconds before it grabbed the one boy, choked him until it almost suffocated, and then the boy fell on the floor. The boys woke up five minutes later, still in pitch black darkness, but they heard a very loud heart thumping. The restroom door was wide open now. This time, when they, or like two minutes later, a strange light was coming towards them. And it instantly formed into the most terrifying ghost form of the history teacher. It suddenly grabbed them and stuffed them into a dark bag. When they woke up, they were in his classroom. They were surrounded by all kinds of hungry snakes, mostly cobras, just waiting to eat them. They found another note that said, the only way to escape out of this room is to yell to the teacher what a terrible history teacher he is. It is his weakness. There will be consequences to doing it. Well, you can bet the boy did it. Or one of the boys did it. After five minutes of an argument, because they weren't sure what was going to happen. They were surrounded by cobras in this cage. All there in this cage. One of the boys finally decided, I will do it. I don't know what will happen. Even if it means that one of us will die. So one of us is going to have to carry on. One of the boys yelled out, You are the worst history teacher ever. The cage is open. And the cobra, or the cobras, killed the one boy that said it. Those words instantly. And he died in a second. Then the cobras left. And the history teacher immediately unlocked the door along the There is another note in the hallway. That said to solve the mystery of the school. You must go upstairs into the sanctuary. Or have or, or multi-purpose room, whatever you want to say. A room that no one has ever known about. But has been with the school ever since it opened. There you will find a safe. On this paper you will find the combination to that safe. And there will lie the reason for me, why the school is the way it is. And then there was a warning. If you dare to do it, 
and to be scared more than you could possibly imagine. You will dare. The boy went up the stairs. Every time he stepped on a stair, there was a loud scream or a loud witch cackle. When the boy opened the door to the sanctuary, he was taken by a banshee, but he was able to fight it off. Then he went to the sanctuary or multi-purpose room. There, in the middle of the room, was the safe. The boy, or 18-year-old, took out the piece of paper out of his pocket. Unfolded it neatly and found the combination for the safe, which was weirdly ten, ten, ten. The whole building shook very violently before it stopped. Then the safe cracked open. There sat the principal, Crouch. That was the reason for why the school was the way it was. The principal was asleep, but was holding on to a potion that made her or him, sorry, him, look very demon possessed or something. And also had a piece of paper that had instructions how to make um, your staff become very uh, scary looking or whatever and become and serve you no matter which side you're on. Suddenly, the principal opened his eyes. They were red. The principal stood up so fast the boy didn't have time to react. Now, how the boy got out was, was unsuccessful because what happened was the 18 year old boy tried to attack but the principal vanished like a ghost a appeared behind the man a boy, or 18 year old and stabbed him from the back and went, the knife went right through his heart in fact, it was such a deadly shot of the knife that the heart went right onto the knife and the knife fell out of the body. The, the 18 year old immediately fell over, dead. The parents never her from their kids again. To this day, the school becomes a, still stays a mystery. But the police still do say that they did find the school open. And strangely enough, they went in there a week later. And everything looked like nothing has happened to it ever since it closed down for economic reasons it looked like no one had even been in there there was no dead body upstairs in fact the lights all worked the sun was shining there was no teachers around no principal it was very strange 
What do you think happened? Do you wonder why the school was all haunted when the 18 year olds showed up? And later on it did not stay that way? Do you think that it could happen again? Do you think that these people could show up again? Or is this a one time thing? You may never know. I mean, you just have to wait, because there may be a school too, the sequel to the house too, and the school. This story is completely fictional. Nothing was true. Completely based on the game The House 2 and the game The House 1. I made it up myself one day uh, while I was uh, bored uh, one night wondering uh, if it was even possible to make a story based on The House 2. I thought about uh, my school because my school was a uh, a very old school and opened up on uh or in June 1974 and it, but it was originally a church and that's where I got the idea of using a sanctuary for the upstairs and um, my school um. It's only been around for ten years, but before that, they were. It was just a church, but it was kind of an abandoned church. So that's kind of where I got my idea. Anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed that. Um, I definitely uh, may or may not make a sequel, but well, I will have to see. And I hope you uh, have a great day or night.